like the time loop of a gravitational lens. Far away, a massive galaxy cluster drifts through the cosmos thousands of galaxies bound together by dark matter, wrapped in a gravitational well deep enough to bend the path of light itself. Behind this cluster, even farther away, is a single galaxy. Normally invisible from Earth, it shines across the Agisets light traveling billions of years through space. But when that light passes near the massive cluster, space itself curves. Light takes multiple paths around the gravity, well long paths, short paths, winding paths each arriving at Earth out of sync. So we do not see this galaxy once we see it again and again in arcs and smears across the sky. These images are separated not just in space, but in time. The same galaxy appears multiple times in one image of the sky but from different moments in its life. One arc shows it forming new stars. Another reveals the beginning of a galactic collision. A third displays its light, dimmed and fatting an echo of what once was. It's not science fiction. It's gravitational Lenzinga cosmic time machine built not from metal, but from mass. Astronomers study the delays between these images to measure the expansion of the universe, to weigh dark matter, to test Einstein's equations in the wildest corners of reality. And somewhere in this strange optical ballet, time itself folds and reflects not as paradox, but as precision. The lens doesn't just bend light, it records time. We don't just watch galaxies, we watch their memories.